Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you another campaign Easter egg. Now, this one I think is probably one of the coolest ones by far. Now, if you'll notice, I am on the mission Fishin' or Fishin' or whatever it's called. And um, actually, I'm not quite sure what this mission is. I'll put what the mission is in the campaign in the description because I actually forgot and I don't feel like going back and re-recording it. So basically what you want to do, this is right after you beat the flight simulator part in the... Or this is when you start the mission, when you already get past the flight simulator part. So what you want to do, once you get past the flight simulator part, if you'll notice, this is... I'm in this part right now. Now, you're going to land here. Now, this is a really cool easter egg. Now, in some Call of Duties, what they do, they actually import older Call of Duties game assets into their Call of Duty. Now, I found this really interesting because since they import other game assets into their Call of Duty, some stuff gets imported imported that don't even mean to. Like, if you'll notice, I was looking around in the MW3 game directory a couple months ago, and I actually found a Golden Desert Eagle image file, and I looked at it, and it was a Golden Desert Eagle. So I was like, okay, how do you get this? And I said, oh wait, you can't because it's in MW2. What is going on? It says loading. Alright, there we go. So basically what you want to do... This is basically an RPG that they accidentally imported into the game, I guess. So what you want to do, you just want to basically follow where I go, because this is the best route to take to it. And I'll tell you how to get up there and everything. Get that stupid hybrid thing off, I don't like that at all. Get out of my way. Okay, so once you get to this part of the bridge, once you see this building right here, you want to come on top of it. Okay, there's a guy standing there. He's dead. Alright. And then you want to come up another level, and then finally go up there. Okay. So you want to come up on this roof, right here. Okay. Are there any guys over here? Um, no. Okay. So, if you'll notice, there's this little pillar right here with these little black bars. Our goal is to jump on top of those black bars. So you don't want to go right underneath the black bar and jump up, because that'll happen. You'll hit your head on it. You want to come back a little bit, then double jump, then land on top of it. How to get on this one? You want to jump backwards, jump forwards, and then boost dodge forward just like that. Now there's a little invisible barrier on here, and um, this does work. I'm just gonna say now because I forgot earlier, it works on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, and PS3, so that's good. So what you want to do? There's an invisible barrier, and it's about eye level. So what you want to do? You want to try to get above that. That's what I like to do. I look to look at the ground, jump, double jump and then boost dodge over and then you should be on top of this little barrier right here now the barrier is a little bit bigger for xbox one the barrier is up to about here for xbox one and ps4 so it will be a little bit harder i am recording this on 360 so what you want to do you want to come to this little corner right here don't fall off and then our goal is to get on top of that ledge right there so just double jump and land right on top of it now our goal is to get up there so again you want to jump backwards and then double jump up and boost dodge into it. So jump backwards, double jump, boost dodge into it. Now we're on top of here. Now, don't walk here or else you'll get trapped in an invisible room. And what is this right here? As you can see, it is an invisible RPG. Now, I am moving around just to show you guys that it is not photoshopped. And you can try it for yourselves. Now, it does have texture to it on Xbox One and PS4. On Xbox 360, it does not have any texture to it. For some reason, it's all white. Now, if you'll notice, if I go up to it, it says hold X to swap weapon underscore rpg this is because they accidentally imported the game asset from modern warfare 3 or black ops 2 or whatever into this game so it should just say hold x to swap for rpg not weapon underscore rpg so i'll just pick that up just so i can show you guys and this is the rpg pretty much now also if you if you want to explore i'm going to warn you right now do not go into that room because you will get trapped in that room and in, and you can go there if you want but this is pretty cool um, I thought this glitch was very, very interesting. So, um, basically what you do, it's pretty cool too, when you boost dodge with this thing, it kind of aims down its sight just like that, you can see. But it does shoot and everything and it will explode, I'll show you right now what I mean. So it says destroy that little thing right there, so I'll shoot it, and it's destroyed. You can do it with this one right here. And there's still a lot of campaign glitches in this game, and I will be uploading a lot. And you can use this glitch just to explore for whatever you want on the map. You could explore 
pretty much anything. Now, okay, I think, oh, I almost got trapped there. Now, see, this is what I mean by be careful where you go, because you will get trapped. So, basically, yeah, that's how to get the RPG on Advanced Warfare. So, I hope you like this. Subscribe for much more. This is actually the second campaign Easter egg I'm doing today, so that's pretty good. So, yeah, subscribe for much more.